50 years, and no one's ever escaped from New Folsom. But we broke it open in an afternoon. I can hardly believe we pulled it off. You guys did good. Now me and my specters will finish the job. We'll kill Minx and burn his dominion to the ground. Overthrowing Manx is just the start. This is about building a better tomorrow. Don't you see? We just released every scientist, philosopher, and free thinker that ever challenged Manx rule. That was our real victory today. You really that naive. Tomorrow there'll be a new Manx, and another one after that. Great shining dream of the future is just an illusion. So if it's all so bleak, why are you here, Tosh? What do you get out of all this? Same thing as you, brother. I don't quit till Minsk is dead. Vengeance doesn't factor into this. Our revolution's about freedom. You'll see that better future, Matt. But it ain't for the likes of us. I took a big chance with you and your specters, Tosh. I hope Nova wasn't right about you. <laughs> Don't go believe in that little girl's lies. This specter procedure affects everyone differently. But we're all still human. It's our choice whether to become specters. Not hers, not yours, and not mixed. Choice be the only true freedom anyone gets. But can I trust him? Can I trust you? Don't you worry, man. We'll fight for you right to the end. All my brothers and sisters, we owe you everything. Breaking news. Reports coming in today suggest... What's that? We're, go we're going to Kate, but I... The Dominion's highest value prisoners are loose tonight after a daring raid broke open New Folsom Prison. Dominion security forces are on high alert as some of the prisoners were former members of Project Shadowblade, which we've discovered to be a subversive offshoot of the Dominion's ghost program. A number of political dissidents were also freed during the attack. Do we know who did this, Kate? Was it Rayner's Raiders? The evidence we have suggests it was, Donnie. There you have it. Jim Rayner, making our world just a little more dangerous tonight. From the UNN Studios on Core Hall, I'm Donnie Vermillion. More dangerous for the real bad guys, Donnie. You should be worried. Thought you'd want to hear. Tosh is officially thrown in with our little revolution. He's gonna lend us his specters to help out. You sure got a soft spot for wayward psychics, Jimmy. Setting those freaks loose ain't smart. Old Mex got him locked up for a reason. Mex locked him up because they were just weapons to him. They deserve a shot at living their lives outside a cage, just like anyone else. That Tosh character gave me the data for building more Spectre gear. You sure we can trust that guy? I heard he was into brainwashing or something. Tosh can only recruit volunteers to become Spectres. That's the deal. He works them hard so they won't go off the rails when they get their full Spectre powers. No brainwashing involved. Good to know. Wouldn't want any of those freaks running loose causing trouble. Aside from Tosh, that is.
most days, I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Just chasing my damn tail. No. We followed your lead from the start. It's your sense of justice that's kept us on this road. Matt, my interest in justice burned out a long time ago. I've spent my whole life fighting. I've killed. I've ordered good men to their deaths. And for what? Finishing this thing with Minsk. It's all I have left. It's guys like you that'll build something better after all the smoke clears. That's because you gave us something to believe in, sir. I'll never give up the fight. That's a promise. The decrypted adjutant contains records proving Mansk ordered the massacre on Tarsonis. Now we just need to broadcast those records. Mirahan gave us a tip that might help. The Dominion is unveiling a new war machine called the Odin on Core Hall. If we hijack the Odin, we can use it to gain access to the UNN studios and broadcast the records of Manx's war crimes. The Odin is currently in the testing facility on Valhalla. Our team's in position. We're ready to steal the Odin. Are you absolutely sure about this, sir? Yep. Tychus is definitely our best man for this kind of job. He does get a little excited in combat. We're gonna need to keep up with him once the fighting starts. If he can actually commandeer the Odin, it's vital that we take out all the Dominion bases in the area. Hopefully we can block all transmissions long enough for him to do that. We can't risk word of this getting back to Core Hall. How much do we know about this Odin? It's an experimental super-heavy siege walker designed for prolonged frontline combat. Very powerful. Great. Even Tychus can't wreck it then. Here they go. Go, go, go! mission anymore, ladies. Bring it loud and fast. Uh, sir, you seem to have found something very interesting there. If you can bring me a sample in the lab, that would be great. Activate the auto turrets! Oh, you ain't keeping me from that monster. Support force up there to cover you. Now that's what I'm talking about. Damn it, Titus. Stand down. Can you read me? He's got it stuck on transmit, sir. He can't hear us at all. Defenses are coming online at the Dominion bases. Wonderful. Get our base set up ASAP. We'll just have to follow him in and hope he doesn't get too crazy. I hope I kid. Bad news. Big jump. Picking up Dominion battle cruisers on an intercept course with the Odin. Hey, Oddshot, you want these Wraith fighters now? They'll take down a battle cruiser easy. You can build more to stop them. Reporting in. Well, if you 
tell me not to have a little fun, I'm gonna have a little fun. <laughs> oh, here I go. Sweet. You just keep me repaired, Jimmy. I'll get this whole war for you. Does he always talk this much, sir? Yeah, once you get him in a fight, he never shuts up. Well, well that's dope. Thing I brought me some liquid refreshment. Base is under attack. SCV ready. Our allies are being attacked. a sample in the lab? Maybe something good will come of it. Reckon you boys will need some time to catch up. Good old Tyke has been right here taking it easy. Just wait me up we all ready. I can't wait no longer. Here it comes. Our SCVs are under attack. Our allies are being attacked. Base is under attack. Is down. Maybe the convict has his uses after all. You know, I think I'll take me another breather. You better get some backup ready for me, Jimmy. Got it. Can't wait to dig into that! Uh, scientifically, I mean. I'm not going to eat it. Secured, we can hit the UNN complex on Core Hall and make our broadcast. Hey, can you hear me, Captain? Maybe next time you'll dress old Tigers with a little bit of mayhem. <laughs> That's about all I trust you with, Tigers.
<laughs> well, you fought real good out there, Tychus. Your time in the freezer didn't dull your edge none. Well, fear and violence always did bring out the best in me. <laughs> Have to admit, we always did make a good team. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was until I went to prison and you went legit. Right. So how does the Odin raid as a fighting machine? Brother, it is the single greatest creation in the history of mankind. Striding around and dispensing righteous fury just about brought a tear to my eye. <laughs> you just let me know and I can take it out for another spin. You'll get your chance soon enough, old buddy. Don't you worry. Ever wonder why minks don't just send him ghosts to kill ya? You've been a thorn in his side for a long time. Assassinating me just turned me into a martyr. <laughs> He'd never be rid of me then. He needs to kill my reputation first. Very good. You think clearly despite your heat for him. Of course his patience has got limits too. Tread careful, Mr. Rena. Someone on this ship is already working for Minsk. I can feel it. This is Kate Lockwell reporting from UNN headquarters on Core Hall. Let's go to Donnie Vermillion on special assignment. Kate, I'm very pleased to be talking to General Horace Warfield. General, I understand that Dominion forces will soon be showing off their newest weapon, the Odin War Machine. <laughs> That's correct, Donnie. We'll show the Odin on the streets of Core Hall itself, with full coverage from your fine network. General, Kate Lockwell here. I've heard rumblings about some sort of logistics trouble with the Odin's debut. Now, Kate... It's true, Kate. The Odin was delayed in shipping, and we briefly lost communication with the production facility. But it arrived safely, so we can go ahead with the unveiling. You heard it here first. The Dominion unveiling new weapons of destruction on the streets of Core Hall. What is wrong with that woman? Tell her not to interrupt my interviews! Your boy Horner is actually pulling this off. Gotta say, I'm mighty impressed. Ever wonder why minks don't just send him... So Swan, what are the chances we can build something like that Odin? You nuts? No way we've got the facilities for mass producing hardware on that scale. And here I was thinking you could build anything, Swan. Shoot. All right, forget the scale. I'm gonna figure it out, don't you worry. And I'll come up with something a damn sight more practical than that showpiece. You see if I don't. Sir, when Tychus came back aboard the ship, I had the techs run a scan on him. Matt, you need to get a hobby. Seriously, sir. His suit contains a sophisticated transponder. If it receives the correct code, it'll shut down all his major organs. That suit is a death trap. He's got a gun to his head. And who's got their finger on the trigger? Mobius? Tychus, what have you gotten yourself into?
We have the Odin. Now we can use it to spearhead our takeover of the UNN studios on Core Hall. Once the Odin has taken out their defenses, we'll broadcast our evidence against Mengsk. Figured they'll throw everything they have at us. They'll be talking about this one for years. Our raid on the Valhalla facility hasn't even been reported yet. The Dominion have no idea we stole the Odin. I had to call in every favor I had, but I got the Odin on the surface, with Tychus inside. Matt, you're a miracle worker. Must have been a complicated operation. You don't even want to know, sir. I'm not gonna let anything keep us from exposing Mengsk. So they're still expecting to film it at the UNN studios later today? That's right. And we won't disappoint them. Seeing as he's the only one with experience, Tychus will pilot the Odin and hit the studio guards with a surprise attack. They'll be confused for several minutes, and won't even know who to attack at first. And during the confusion, we'll establish a forward base using this command center we acquired earlier. Pretty devious, Matt. I like it. If Tychus can inflict enough damage during the sneak attack, making the broadcast should be relatively easy. Keep in mind, we'll only have a few minutes before the Dominion realize that Tychus is in the Odin. Once they figure it out, they'll use everything they've got to stop us. Whatever happens, we'll be giving Megs one hell of a broadcast. Let's do this.